This summer, the heat has been brutal. Many of us spending most of our time indoors, but there are many who don't have that luxury and have to work outside. Today, Congressman Greg Kazar is shining a spotlight on workers' rights, calling for federal rest and water breaks. KVU's Isabella Basco shares one construction worker's plea. For construction worker, Eva Marokim, enduring the heat is a regular part of her job. We've been suffering heat attacks at work. She fears it could get worse under House Bill 2127, which prevents cities and counties from passing local ordinances in areas already regulated by state law, such as worker protections. One of the main concerns among opponents is the law will revoke mandated water breaks for construction workers when it goes into effect on September 1st. What Marokim wants are federal heat protections for workers like herself. Para evitar más muertes. To avoid more deaths, avoid mistreatment or sicknesses that come from extreme heat. She's in Washington, D.C. with Congressman Greg Kassar, who's participating in an all-day hunger and thirst strike. No water, food or break until nurses require him to stop. Whether you work in a warehouse or you're digging a trench or you're building uh, a roof, you should have the right to be able to come off a scaffold, stop working if you're feeling sick, and get a drink of water. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, does not have regulations specifically designed for extreme heat, but is currently developing proposed rules to prevent heat illness. The agency declined an interview, but sent KVU News a statement, which says in part, OSHA strongly encourages employers to reach out to our compliance assistant specialists around the country for information on how to best address heat-related hazards at their workplaces. We want our bosses to give us the option of taking a water break for every four hours worked. Building on their rights as they build the city around us in the blazing Texas sun. In Austin, Isabella Basco for KVU News.